Elizabeth? Huh? Those tears? Um, no. I see. You have something in your eye. Can I help? I wish you could. I'd take it from anybody at this point. Tell you what, I'm not going to be insulted by that remark. I'm just going to offer an ear. Sometimes it's all that's required. I am trying so hard to give Lucky the space he needs. My husband is a very proud man. I know this, so I tread carefully, and I try not to help him, even though everything I have inside of me screams to just, just go to him. He's in a lot of pain, and he's determined to, to fight his way through this and get better, and I find myself just staying away so that I don't... So he doesn't feel... It's mine. No. Yeah. Yeah. I can understand where Lucky's coming from. Most men make terrible patience, present company included. So what do I do? Y you know what? Actually, you're barely recovered yourself. I shouldn't be dumping my problems on you. You know, it's good for me to get reconnected to the world outside of my hospital room. Bed rest is a luxury I can't afford anymore. I don't understand. Excuse me, what do you think you're doing? I was talking to Elizabeth. You should be in bed, resting. Okay, my mother died. I didn't apply for another one. I checked myself out. What is the big rush? Why can't you let your body heal in its own time? I want the Fitzgerald file on my desk ASAP. Are you asking me or telling me? Whatever gets you there quicker. Oh. Well, I already pulled the chart. And since you're so far up the road to recovery, I'm sure you can get it to your office <coughs> yourself. If he's okay, I'm better. As you know, you're exactly the person I wanted to see. I'm a little psychic that way. How are you? I'm making progress. You see? Oh, okay, well, you have to do a little better than that. Well, it's not exactly pinch pressing 300 pounds, but. Well, physical therapy, it's a one-step type of thing. Well, that's thats not what I meant. I mean that you can be honest with me. You know, I'm not going to break. I survived her father. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, don't expect him to visit anytime soon. Well, I haven't had any expectations of our dad in a long time. <laughs> How is he? He took off again. Any particular reason? Well, a couple. Robert Scorpio showed up this time with the price on his head from the Markham Islands. Uh, that's our guy always running from the law. Towards something or someone. What do you mean? Well, before Dad left, he got a call. Lulu, don't. Whatever this is, needs to stay between Robert and Luke. Like he's kind of out of commission right now. He doesn't need to get overexcited or go running after your dad. Hey, since, since when would I do that? Since you realize how much Lulu needs him? Well, yeah, you know, maybe Elizabeth is right. <laughs> I mean, I think you should be taking care of yourself. I'll be fine whether my dad's around or not. Okay? I love you. Yeah, you too. Is there anything you want to tell me? Like what? I just, do you know where my dad went? No. Not even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Okay, you know what? Just put on the brakes. You're starting to treat me like some person who can't even think for himself. It's bad enough that I have to sit here and let Nicholas pay for my bills. Again. You know what? It's, I don't need you making me feel like less. Instead of getting ticked at me, maybe you should just be grateful you didn't suffer any permanent damage and respect the recovery process unless you want to end up in that wheelchair for what, the you do you think heart. I can't handle that? Or maybe you're just worried about yourself. Elizabeth! Elizabeth! Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, oh, here, this is for you. A single balloon? Mm hmm. Me. 
easy. You can only come on the end of a balloon. What are you doing here anyway? You're not on schedule. Yeah, I didn't, uh, didn't know where else to go. What's going on? Things are bad with Sonny and Jason. I'm talking really bad. Frankly, they're not so great with me and Sonny either. And now I get an invitation from Michael Morgan expecting me at a surprise birthday party for Sonny. It's a party. What could happen? Wait, scratch that. Carly's going to be there. No, I'm more worried about Jason. Michael must have invited him. Jason and Sonny love those boys. Who knows? Maybe this party will mend things. Elizabeth, Sonny came right out and said that he might have to kill Jason and the war that I started between them. What have I done? I thought all I was doing was falling in love, but I've set something in motion that could get my brother killed. Okay, I'm wrong and you are right. Oof. It gives me perverse pleasure to hear a beautiful <laughs> woman say that to me. I'm just not quite sure how to thank you. Nah, that's a whole other different perverse pleasure. <laughs> What is wrong with you? You were terrible. I'm glad you came, Miss Samia. You know, I'm sure it's going to work out just great. And I think you offered me exactly what I need, so That's thank you. <laughs> well, if there's anything else I can do for you. No, I think I'm good. You sure? Tiffany's going to be thrilled that I finally got these done. So, yes. Okay. Thank you for your help. I hope they're right. <laughs>